Dear brothers and sisters, all of us who pray fervently, asking our Lord over a great amount of time to fulfill our prayers, we derive much comfort from today's Gospel reading. This woman, with the issue of blood, she was hemorrhaging. She spent many, many years going to doctors, spending her resources to, to obtain a cure. She had none. And Jairus ran to Jesus because his only daughter was lying in bed dying. And he, the ruler of the synagogue, had many resources. And the Gospel doesn't say this, but we could as assume that he likewise spent much money on doctors and all kinds of ways to heal his daughter to no avail. This woman suffered for many years without any cure, and likewise this young daughter was dying. But they appealed to our Lord. The woman only had to touch the end of his garment and received God's grace and was cured of her illness. And this young daughter of Jairus, she was raised back from the dead by the power of Christ. Throughout the Gospel, brothers and sisters, we see many circumstances similar to this one. People in desperation. The paralytic who was lying by the sheep's pool for 38 years. That's desperation. That's devotion. That's constant faith and trust in God. The father of a young boy, a young boy who was tormented by epilepsy, throwing him into all kinds of dangerous situations, appealed to the disciples, and they couldn't do anything. Finally, in his desperation, he ran to Jesus. The Canaanite woman, likewise, for her loved one, running to the disciples, begging them. And finally, she showed great faith before Jesus, who heard her prayer. All of these circumstances, brothers and sisters, we find people in great desperation. They're at their last ounce of strength, but they didn't lose hope. They had faith, hope, and devotion. Many of them maybe didn't know exactly everything that they needed to know about Jesus, but they had trust in God. St. Theophan the Recluse says that all those who run to our Lord in prayer, having within them faith, hope, and devotion, their prayers are always heard by our Lord. We see when God's grace touches us, things change for the better. The disciples were in de despair, desperation, when Jesus called them to feed the 5,000. They said, what can we do? But they brought what they had to Jesus. And he multiplied the bread and fish to feed many people. Peter, St. Peter, was fishing all night with, his, with the other disciples. And only with the blessing of our Lord in the morning did they have a great catch of fish. Many of us brothers and sisters are in desperation. And the intensity of our desperation varies from time to time, from person to person. Sometimes our desperation is just trying to overcome some sin, to break some kind of bad habit.
of desperation, we strive to improve the relationships with our loved ones. Maybe our marriages aren't doing so well. Others find themselves in desperation in times of sickness, sorrow, running to the doctors, seeking all kinds of cure, doing everything that we physically possibly can. Each time, brothers and sisters, we realize our poverty. And in that poverty, we stand before God with great humility. We understand the words of Jesus who says, Without me, you can do nothing. So our desperation is changed to hope. Our emptiness is filled with God's grace. Our prayer is strengthened even more when we feel God's presence. So we should never despair. No matter how little of our own strength and faith is left, no matter how hopeless things may be, Jairus and his family were certain that there was nothing that could be done because their, her, his daughter died. And there are many circumstances where we think, well, we did everything we possibly could. Nothing's working. It's all lost. But with God, all things are possible. So we should never despair. We should never give up. You know, there's the saying that hope is the last to die. But we Orthodox Christians don't <coughs> believe that. We as Orthodox Christians say hope never dies. We always hope. We always run to our Lord. We always ask for His blessing because we know and we trust that He is merciful and compassionate and He hears our prayers. So what do we do? We ensure that our prayers are filled with faith, hope, and devotion. We firmly believe that God is merciful and that He can deliver us from our difficulty. And we hope, we trust that He is merciful and that He will hear our prayers. And we run to Him in devotion, following His commandments, seeking His will in our life, and always being ready to accept His will no matter where His will takes us, whether our prayers are completely fulfilled or not. We run to Him with devotion, trusting completely in His will. So, brothers and sisters, again, today's Gospel reading is for all of us, because all of us have something about which we pray and pray and pray. Always know that God hears us. Let us run to Him with faith, hope, and devotion, and He will deliver us according to His will. Amen.